So I added my payment information and the domain sold for $1,200. I think our payout was right around a thousand or something is what we made after their commission fees. Business on the bike with Brooks, yeah. All right, so in the world of amazing online side hustles, how can we not talk about domain name flipping or domain name investing? I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm not sure why it's taken me this long to get interested or involved in the business. I'm gonna tell you a story, but I'll give you the 10 second, like if you're like, what the heck? What is the domain name? Okay, it's the part in the web address between the www dot and the ending, the dot com. Uh, actually, the dot com is a part of the domain name, but that's another story for another day. So my name, Brooks Conkle. So brooksconkle dot com is a domain name that I own, that I've owned for a number of years. And I, I pay money every year to renew it in order to keep it. That's also, there's a organization, international organization called ICANN potentially another conversation for another day. Don't have to go into that depth, that detail. But, so the business of buying and selling domain names has been happening for a long, long time. So here's the story. About 10 years ago, my wife and I, well, I guess it would have been before 10 years because we haven't been married 10 years. So like 11 years ago, we had a real estate brokerage. So we're real estate agents. We owned a domain name, ForefrontRE.com. We had that for seven or eight years or something like that. We ended up moving our real estate licenses to another real estate company. So we no longer needed that domain name. Now I knew nothing about selling a domain name or how that process works or, or, or what that meant or whatever. But inside of GoDaddy, which was which is called a domain registrar, where you would register a domain name, and I've, side note, I've since come to find out that there are maybe a hundred plus of these registrars that have to get approved in order to, in order to, to list these domains. So, okay, but in, back to GoDaddy. Inside my GoDaddy account, I had ForefrontRE.com and I was like, well, I don't need this anymore. There's a little button beside it that said, you know, like, hey, sell your domain. I didn't know what that meant, but I clicked the button. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know what this means, but I did it. And then... I forgot all about it. So my plan was, I, th I guess, not to renew the domain. So not to pay the, whatever it was at the time, 13 or $14 at the time renewal fee. I was like, well, I don't need this anymore. So that was, I don't know, that was 12 months down the road. Cause it had probably just renewed when I clicked this button, which is probably why I was in there in the first place. I was like, man, well, I don't, I don't need this again. So I clicked that button, sell my domain, forgot all about it. Seven, or so months later, I get a random email. I think it landed in my spam, but I in fact thought it was spam when I looked at it. It was, you know, kind of like a old school looking email. Congrats, you sold your you sold your domain name. It's transferred. We need your we need your payment details so we can pay you. And I was like, what? I was like, what is this, man? This got to be like a scam or something. So I clicked in, looked at it, and I was like, okay, this is legit enough. I've heard of this. I've heard of this. After Nick company, it's a GoDaddy brand. I don't know anything about it, but okay. So I added my payment information and the domain sold for $1,200. I think our payout was right around a thousand or something is what we ended up being our cut, what we made after their commission fees. The question I now ask myself looking back, it's okay, it, it doesn't matter, but like that was four years ago. Why did I not instantly get excited and start looking into the possibility of selling more domain names, of buying more strategically, as I don't know the answer to that, but as my wife likes to tell me, you can't you can't have all your good ideas at once, which is true. I agree, babe. Yeah, absolutely. You cannot have all the good ideas at one time. So fast forward four years later, here I am full circle. I meet a young guy who just graduated from college. He's like, oh yeah, man, I own like like fifteen hundred domains. I've flipped a bunch, you know. I've you know whatever sold them, you know made six figures of revenue or whatever. And so I got newly reinvigorated, excited. I think it's because when you meet someone like in your actual circle of like your sphere of influence, that's not just like an online rando, it's like a real person. You're like, oh, wow, this is a real person that actually does this, this is super cool. So I have gone in deep, deep. So like three weeks of, three weeks of hardcore research, I probably know you know, it's, it's that point where like, you can know more than like 95% of 
of the world with some like basic knowledge, I'm there. I understand everything about registrars. I understand that TLDs, which is the ending that there's like more than a thousand. I understand now that there are nearly an infinite opportunity of options that you could register a domain in, which is something to kind of think about within your strategy. I've learned that average domain resellers that do this professionally that have like thousands of domain names sell somewhere between like one and three percent of their portfolio within a given year. So if they have a hundred domain names, they may sell only between one and three per year of those names. So armed with all of this knowledge, I set off. I set off to start getting domain names. So what I've decided for now, at least as of recording this, I'm going to invest in a hundred domain names. And then when I get there, I'll pause. So I now own like 80 that I've purchased specifically with the intention of selling or I would, I would resell them. And I've got some good names. I mean, I've got some names I think are really cool. I actually listed a few within a strategic domain name brokerage. I have a few of them that kind of fit that criteria. One of them is cardfanatics.com. I just, I have high valuation of that. I want to, I think Gary V should buy it. Gary, if you're listening to this, you should own Card Fanatics. If not, fanatics.com. We're going to sell it to them. So, so we got that. I have domains like Pro Pool Builders, Pillar Builders, some funky names. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember all these. Quirk, quirky Up, Swolio. Just some interesting, like interesting domains around the real estate rim. So whatever. Have like a list of like 80. You can go find them on brooksconkle.com. Just look on the top. You'll find a, you'll find a list of those domain name lists. And I have some listed on After Nick. Uh, also a company called Adam.com. Shout out to them. They're, it's a rebrand from Squad Help, I think was their, I think was the previous brand. They've rebranded to Adam.com. They're really growing and doing cool stuff. I found a new registrar. Shout out to Spaceship. I think some of the best pricing. Um, I'll give you a link, give you the best deal at brooksconkle.com forward slash spaceship. You can do that with Adam too. I can't remember what the deal is. It doesn't matter. It's in my referral link, but at a minimum, you get the same deal, but you may get like a better deal by going through that link. I don't remember all the deals that, that we get through these guys. So I'm excited about the potential of domain names. And I never even shared this with you. I should have set this up towards the front of the episode. But the reason why I think I'm, I'm so comfortable and understand the industry is because domain names are the digital real estate it's the real estate of the online world. So I'm already in the real estate industry. I understand vacant land and building and how you can rehab a house, which is like building a website on it or you know whatever. I understand flipping or like you buy and sell something. Well, people buy and sell vacant land all the time, right? You may buy a uh, parcel of land in an area that's gonna in the future grow into, into be something and then you sell those lots at a later date for, for more money. So domain name investing is that exact thing. And that's so exciting to me because it's like, it also, it's not truly, truly passive, right? Most, most, you know, I never heard of passive income that didn't take a lot of hard work, but you, you do get to choose how involved you want to be in it, right? You, you choose if you want to do it actively full time, which I do not. Even in those three weeks of being serious, I probably spent 10% of my time invested into it. So you can choose, right? You can, you can invest money. And as long as you like understand what's going on with your portfolio, it can automatically sell, automatically transfer to a buyer. You can get money automatically in your account. So that, all that is pretty darn passive, which is pretty amazing. So I look forward to keeping you in the loop in my, in my newsletter, anywhere I'm, anywhere I'm writing or, or talking, I'll be making content around this. So Google me, find me, connect ask me what I'm doing. I love that accountability from people. Hey man, what's up with the, what's up with that domain name investing? So let me know. Look forward to chatting with you. Take care. Business on the bike with Brooks. Yeah.